and these electricians teach kids how to fix, say, broken uh, brand, uh, brand, uh, blender or something. And this th th happened to be just boys there, but it's always mixed. So girls also know uh, how to um, deal with all these electric products. And there's a carpentry class and, such, and a cooking class for both girls and boys. So his idea is you have to be completely independent. You, you, you should know everything, including this sort of practical knowledge. And the students really loved it. So, um, so first time I went to this um, school, I expected something more overtly Hindu. You know, this is again kind of scary or kind of my problem. You know, I ex I I was looking for something Hindu, but there wasn't any. So I was quite disappointed, and uh, and also I started interviewing with teachers and the kids and. What do they think about matters, and have they been to Udupi? And they said no, and most of them couldn't even say which matters this guru belongs to. So yeah, the idea is, this is guru school, that is certain, but matter doesn't have anything to do with it. So uh, most of uh, teachers are not even Madhava Brahmins. They are high caste, but they are not necessarily monographies, and the kids are as well. <coughs> they are ex and, and, and even school entrance or even teacher selection, they don't ask um, caste or religion at all. So they have Muslim students as well. But despite they don't do any selection on the caste or religion line, I interviewed, uh, I think, like 15 uh, students at 10th standard. Amongst 15, only two of them were known drug me. So I, I going back to this, you know, they don't they don't really select drug me, but still they end up selecting drug me kids. So what 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 what, what does it mean? And um, so so they, they they look very secure and they, they they try to be multicultural. They they include a lot of um, element from other. Um, culture as well. So they, they don't try to be Hindu or any anyway. But the only uh, kind of seemingly uh, religious or Hindu activity the school practice is the daily chanting of the Bhagavad Gita. And this is a new introduction and uh, this is a, a kind of assembly. It happens every day, every noon, uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. And this is a kind of new um, kind of invention because previously the guru used to come to this assembly, and he himself explained the meaning of certain shlokas from Bhagavad Gita. But since he's not well and he actually passed away, they introduced a new, um, new way of they themselves doing it. And uh, first they started chanting just five shlokas a day in Sanskrit. But they, did, they realized children are not really understanding the meaning of it. So now they changed it. Now they uh, um, chant two shlokas in Southern Sanskrit and repeat English translation. So probably that um, makes easier for um, kids to understand the meaning of it. And um, but um, uh, so I interviewed um, a student. What do they think about this Bhagavad Gita chanting? And everybody says, pretty much everybody says, it's a good thing or it helps us to know more about our culture and tradition, or it is very helpful and it is also improves our knowledge of Sanskrit. The Bhagavad Gita should be learned by everybody. If you need to know the purpose of your life, then you should read it, etc., etc. But some students, of course, complain because they have to stand up in the sun and sometimes it's too hot. But hot. Being hot in Bangalore is not quite hot, but still, you know, of course, these kids complain. And um, so, but, but still, mostly they were quite positive about this. But, however, they are positive and they're grateful to have this opportunity to learn and become familiar with the Bhagavad Gita. One cannot, I couldn't help feeling that um, some of these students are just simply repeating what they have been told. And um, if I ask something more, like, um, do you read Bhagavad Gita at home, or have you read it before? They said, no, I've never read it before, and uh, I don't read it at home. And uh, one veteran teacher, Hindi teacher, said to me that uh, this book, Bhagavad Gita, is our Bible. 
and she just put this small uh, book onto her um, chest, and I thought I brought this is a small book, so I couldn't really show it to you. And um, and she explained to me that this book contained all the Hindu values. And another Sanskrit teacher told me that uh, Bhagavad Gita is a basically a book of psychology that will help students when they find themselves in difficulties. At the same time, the Sanskrit teacher admitted that the most students did not, as yet, understand the significance of the book. So, um, I, I will come back to this religious um, study issue and also uh, this uh, caste issue later. And there's a more, of course, more interesting aspect that I moved to um, second school. 